De La Wright, my envy this. Welcome. Report reaching us right now is that, you know, um, the elders of Oni of Ife, um, alongside with the Gise elders and Dr. Lizzie Storm Akure to meet with Olori Naomi. Now, why did they go to meet with Olori Naomi? They went to meet with Olori Naomi to plead with Olori Naomi to please leave Kaviesi a voice note um, that will enable Kaviesi concentrate on his communion with his gods and ancestors. Ancestors. Why did they deem it necessary to do this? They said that KBSC, even though he is in seclusion, he has not been concentrating. Now, right there in seclusion, there are a lot of people like servants who, you know, wait on him. And this seclusion is almost like, you know, when you fast, okay? You fast from morning till like six o'clock you take a break you fast from morning till like six o'clock you take a break and for these seven days kbs is not supposed to be anywhere outside that um place that hall where he is uh, having his seclusion now in the evenings the servants get to him and they said during evenings he's able to look at his phones but one um, information that the servant brought outside to the elders is that kbs has been asking of a Lori Naomi, asking of Tadenikawa, asking um, um, to know if they have traveled out again or if they were still in the country because right now it does not look as if the monarch is even helpless because there's nothing he can do, okay? Now, you do know that Kabiasi has a lot of intel who um, bring information to him. But with um, the spiritual exercise that he is doing or going through right now, he is not supposed to concentrate all on outside information. Like um, for those of, those of us who are Christians, there are times you just want to dedicate like five, six days to the Lord and you go into fasting, maybe from morning till six o'clock. You're not eating anything. You're not talking to anybody. You are just having having that time with God. And so this is the same thing that KBSC is doing for seven days, getting to know and um, talk to his ancestors, praying and all of that. But they say he takes breaks um, um, from time to time and everything he has asked of, like we are hearing, is um, of um, Queen Naomi. How is Queen Naomi doing? How Tade is doing? Is Queen Naomi in Akure? Is she in Lagos? Is she back? Uh, is she traveling again? Who has any information and all of that? And they say because of his level of worries, he might not be able to concentrate on what he is doing. And that is the reason why it is beginning to look as if they are not resolved. Because if they were resolved, you will not be seen at Dimu um, uh, Orisha everywhere as people are saying they are saying that Demo Risha, we also heard that one of the women who saw this Adimo Risha passed on um, um, yesterday. And so now they say KBAC is there, but very worried about Olori Naomi. And they said this was why um, these people had to go to Akure because right now they say Nami is back in Akure, okay? So they had to go to Akure to see what they can do to speak to Olori Naomi to leave a voice note for her husband to see if that will help KBAC to concentrate for the next uh, few days that he is going to be there. Now, upon getting to Akure, they said that um, Nami was very dissatisfied about their demands that Kabiasi has so many wives that Kabiasi can get as many voice notes as possible. Why is her own different? Why should it be her that she is not ready to leave any voice note for Kabiasi because she is not ready to return back to Kabiasi's life? That she is tired of this merry-go-round situation where Kabiasi will not do the right thing and they will come back to her, forcing her to be in a relationship where she doesn't want to be in. She said she doesn't want to be in that relationship again. She doesn't want to be a part of the royal family. She doesn't want to be a part of the Ogun says and all of that. And this is what is going on, okay? They said that, were, they were, that even Dr. Elizabeth was pleading and pleading and pleading. They said at some point she became very, very um, uh, unhappy with even Dr. Elizabeth. That why why should Dr. Elizabeth even be part of this meeting when Dr. Elizabeth knows exactly what she has been through? That she's not ready to spend her entire life fighting for a man who is not fighting for her. She said that if KBSC was fighting for her, they would not be where they are right now. 
that all the temptations and everything that happened to Kabiesi, it also happened to her as a woman. But she would not let herself to get to a point where relationship will get to a point of no return. That she does not like what people are doing to her. People are just pressing her to stay in one relationship that in the last um, three years, she has been in a merry-go-round situation like, like a vicious circle in her life. That she is not ready to go on with this kind of life again that she is completely exhausted that people should leave her alone they said the Gise family they talked and talked and talked and begged Olori Nami to leave a voice note so that uh, Kabiesi can concentrate and they said Olori Nami's mother came out and told them to leave her daughter alone that if it is a voice note that will make Kabiesi concentrate that Kabiesi should not concentrate that they should call Ebony to leave a voice note they should call um, Oletik to leave a voice note they should call um, um, a gospel to leave a voice note. They should call anybody they want to call to leave a voice note, but they should leave her daughter alone. That this is getting too much. That everybody is sitting down there. Kabiesi is making all the decisions and going with what he likes. That why would they force Nami to stay? And that the family is not standing up for that again. And they said the uncle too was very, very upset. That this is really not fair and they are not going to allow people undermine Queen Nami's fundamental human right. She has a right to be free. She has a right to make her decision. She has a right to be with whoever she wants to be with. That nobody has a right to tell her what to do or what not to do. That it enough is enough that they are completely exhausted with this back and forth movement with Olori, Naomi and the KBSC that they should allow their daughter to rest. This is what we are hearing. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Della Rama. I bring you fresh and spicy jays from the sources still on the Royals. Happy weekends to you. I apologize for coming late. It's been a very, very hectic month for me. I've been working back to back, but when I come, I have an update. I will need to drop it. You do know that my very my videos drop by five and very soon I have just about two weeks more I will be fine I'll be um, um, putting my videos by five I'm really um, sorry about coming in so late now happy weekends to you I appreciate you guys so much so this is what we are hearing they said because of um, KBSC's um, 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 disposition to Olori Naomi the fact that he is afraid that Naomi might just travel to a place where he will not see Naomi you know Naomi has been doing in communities that of course uh, going in communicado um, here and there, and that he has been worried that Kabiesi said this is the worst um, seclusion, like one of those very seclusions where his mind is not at peace because of Olori Naomi. And that was why they had to go to Olori Naomi to make Naomi to leave a voice note for Kabiesi. Perhaps when he's done with the day's um, um, communion with his gods, when he opens his phone, maybe at night, if he gets that voice note, he might it might help him to be able to concentrate more um, in the days ahead. And Naomi said he, she will do no such thing. That doing that is giving Kabiesi hope that they will be together again. And this is another opportunity to let you guys know I do know that a lot of us do not know this. I do know that a lot of us say Delaram don't ever say never but right now it's another opportunity to let you know that Nami might not be coming back to the palace anytime soon. Yes, so don't get yourself deceived because it looks like she is not coming back. Well, they say never say no, never. And of course, you and you you don't know what God can do. But if it's the will of God, fine. But from where we are getting our information from and all the feelers we are getting, it looks like Nami is not coming back to that palace. I'm going to bring you more update. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.